This is the wiring diagram for your AC system on your X5. I'm assuming it's an E53 X5. This would be your engine computer, which has an input to your heating and AC control module. It's the heating and AC control module, which this is power supply, terminal 15, that actually supplies power to the compressor. And this is a one single wire connector at the compressor for the power supply. So if it's shutting off, you have a short amount of power here, the system might be seeing a problem either with the high pressure switch or an EVAP sensor, or it might actually be a heater control module itself. Uh, one thing to check, because your DME has to OK the compressor to actually turn on. So check your auxiliary fan. <clears throat> that would be the fan in front of the, uh, the engine, just behind the bumper, uh, the electric fan. Uh, if that's not turning on, pressures can get too high, and the high pressure switch will not allow the compressor to turn on. <clears throat> it's actually really common on an X5 for this fan to fail. So whenever your AC is on, this uh, fan should be on, your auxiliary fan. Uh, you could, the only way to really check the high pressure switch, you could replace it or you would have to pull up a status, but you're going to need a BMW tester to really see what this pressure reading is. Uh, the EVAP sensor, pretty unlikely. I can't say I've seen a problem. I've only seen a problem with the pressure switch once. More often, it's a problem with the heater control unit itself, IHKA. And that's going to be your the panel itself. You could actually remove the panel. I know I have a video on that. And you could go to, this is pin 2. Right here of X18341. It's a black and gray wire. Swartz and gray, black and gray. And then you can check power here. You could actually put power to it and your compressor should actually run. Let's see, X1384 is this connector right here. So you can double check, make sure everything looks good here. Um, it sounds like it might be the heater control panel itself. But definitely check that auxiliary fan. I'm not sure if I can get you a, a picture of that as well. Electric fan, here we go. <clears throat> Let's see. And actually, right, this is the electric fan for the engine. Uh, the fan I'm actually thinking of on E53s is not this fan. It would be the one in the front. Uh, it all depends on what system you have. If you have the style with a fan clutch, you're going to have your auxiliary fan on the front just behind the bumper. Let's see if I can get aux fan. Nope. So these are just a few things to check. Hopefully this helps. I know I've replaced a lot of fans. <clears throat> fan in the e-box. And yeah, it looks like auxiliary fan speed. It's probably going to be the same fan, or it should be, if you have this style electric fan. Uh, this should be on whenever the AC is on. <clears throat> Of course, if you have the style that has the fan clutch, which is the, uh, the fans actually attached to the water pump, then you need to check in the front of this, which is going to be just behind the bumper. You're going to have an electric fan, and the bumper needs to come off for replacement. But that fan, if you have that style, is very common to fail. I hope this helps. Let me know what you find.